Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this video, we'll build a zero detector model with logistic regression. In the previous setup, we used HDD classifier to train the zero detector model in an iterative manner. We can also train such a classifier by solving a set of equations obtained by setting the derivative of loss with respect to weights to zero. So the resulting equations are not linear equations and hence we need a different set of solvers for solving these equations. So Scalern uses solvers like Leblinier, Newton CG, SAG, SAGA and LBFGF to obtain the optimal weights in case of logistic regression. Regularization is applied by default. This is the default parameterization of the, of the logistic regression classifier in sklearn. Note some of the important default parameter. The regularization that is used is L2 regularization with regularization rate C set to 1 and the default solver is LBFGS. Let's implement logistic regression without regularization by setting the parameter C to infinity. So by setting C to infinity, we expect the performance of the logistic regression model without regularization to be close to the SGD classifier without regularization. So in order to train a logistic regression model without regularization, we first instantiate a pipeline object with two stages. The first stage contains min max scalar for scaling the input and the second stage contains logistic regression classifier with regularization rate C equal to infinity. In the second step, we train the pipeline with feature matrix X train and label vector Y train 0 as inputs. By executing this cell, we train our logistic regression classifier which can now be used for making predictions on the new inputs. In this section, we will search for the best value of parameter C under certain scoring function. In the previous cell, we trained logistic regression classifier with the value of C set to infinity. You may wonder if that's the best value for C and if it is not the best value, how do you search for the best value? Now we will demonstrate how to search for the best parameter value for regularization rate C using grid search CV. And this particular regularization rate C is just used as an illustration. We can also launch parameter search for something like L1, L1 ratio. Note that you can also make use of randomized search CV for finding the best parameter value. However, we are making use of grid search CV uh, as an illustration. In order to use grid search CV, we first define a set of values for C. The best value of C will be found from this set. We define a pipeline object just like before with one small exception we set the value of parameter c equal to 1 in the logistic regression estimator you can set this value to any other value and the best value of c would be searched with grid search there is an additional step to instantiate a grid search cv object with pipeline estimator and parameter grid specification we also have to set up, we also have to specify the scoring function and in this case we use f1 as a scoring function. So instead of using f1 as a scoring function, you also have a choice of using scoring functions like precision and recall. However, note that the value of the c that we, that we have to find will be optimized for the scoring function that you specify. So the grid search CV finds the best value of C 
and repeats the estimator by default on the entire training set. This gives us a logistic regression classifier with best value of C. We can check out the value of the best parameter by accessing the best underscore params underscore member variable of grid search CV object. So we can we can access it by specifying this member variable of the grid search CV object and you can see that the parameter value C, the best value of the parameter C is 0.1. The best score can be can be found in best underscore score underscore member variable of the grid search CV object. And here we obtain the best score of 0.9579. That's the best value of the F1 score. The best estimator can be accessed with best underscore estimator underscore member variable of the grid search CV object. Instead of using grid search CV for finding the best value of parameter C, we can use logistic regression CV for performing the same job. Here we make use of logistic regression CV estimator with number of cross validation fold CV set to 5 and scoring scheme set to F1. In the second step, we train the pipeline object as before. So here, we define a pipeline object with estimator equal to logistic regression CV. By default, logistic regression CV refits the model on the entire training set with the best parameter values obtained via cross-validation. Let's evaluate performance of these three different logistic regression classifiers for detecting digit 0 from the image. So we have three classifiers, logistic regression without regularization, best logistic regression classifier found through grid search CV, and best classifier found through logistic regression CV. So again, reminding you that grid search CV and logistic regression CV by default refit the classifier for the best hyperparameter values that defined. Let us get the predictions for test set with these three classifiers. So we have three sets of prediction for test sets with logistic regression without regularization, the one with grid search CV and the one that is found through logistic regression CV. Then we calculate the precision and recall values for these three sets of predictions. And here we compare, we print the precision recall values for each of the classifier and we can compare them. So you can see that all the three classifiers roughly have the same performance as measured with precision and recall. The logistic regression classifier obtained through grid search CV has highest precision. Whereas logistic regression classifier obtained through logistic regression CV has got the highest recall value and both the, the highest precision and highest recall are marginally higher than the remaining two classifiers. Instead of comparing these three classifiers on single value of precision and recall, we will use PR curves to study their behavior across different values of precision and recall. So here we use decision functions to obtain the probability for each example of belonging to class 1. And at different probability thresholds we get the values of precision and recall through precision underscore recall underscore curve function. So we perform the uh, same procedure for all the three classifiers and then we print the we use these PR values for plotting the PR curve. So here we plotted PR curves for all the three classifiers in the same plot. You can observe that 
PR curves for all the three classifiers overlap significantly. Let's calculate the area under the curve of these PR curves. So we can make use of AUC function from SK learn metric for calculating the area under the PR curve and observe that the AUC for all three classifiers is roughly the same. We can also look at the confusion matrix for the test set with the three classifiers. So this is the confusion matrix for logistic regression classifier without any regularization and mostly the default parameterization. So you can see that uh, there are 48 and 38 examples that are misclassified from class 0 and class 1. So 38 examples are such that the two label was 1 but they are predicted to be 0 and 48 examples from class 0 are predicted uh, in the class 1. Now we can compare this confusion matrix with the one obtained through grid search and you can see that the misclassification has gone down marginally in case of the grid search based logistic regression classifier and you can see that the number of examples from class 1 that are correctly classified has gone up by 2. Let's compare this classifier, uh, these two classifiers with, uh, with the confusion matrix of logistic regression classifier obtained through cross validation and you can see that the number of correctly classified examples from class 1 have gone up further in, in this case. So here you can see that the number of misclassified example from class 1 have also gone down. So in this video we used logistic regression classifier for zero detector. We trained three logistic regression classifiers, one without regularization and then the remaining two logistic regression classifiers that perform cross-validation for finding the best parameter.